Hello, hello, I'm Brunton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into medical school and other professional programs. And welcome back to MCAT Bytes. Today, we're focusing on social cognition, specifically attribution theory. This concept is crucial for understanding how we perceive and interpret the behavior of others, a key aspect of the MCAT's psych and social sections. We're going to cover high yield topics like fundamental attribution theory. Let's begin by talking about where attribution theories came from. Attribution theory explores how individuals explain the cause of behavior and events. Developed by psychologists like Fritz Heider, it's a cornerstone of social psychology. At its core, this theory distinguishes between two types of attributions, internal, which are about a person's characteristics, and external, which focus on external factors. Internal attributions, also known as dispositional attributions, attribute behavior to a person's traits or personality. For instance, if someone is late to a meeting, you might think that they are always disorganized. On the other hand, external attributions, also known as situational attributions, or even it, will attribute behavior to external factors. In the same scenario, you might attribute the lateness to traffic or unforeseen circumstances. And in this diagram I drew here, you're going to notice a weird little eye in pink, the interpreter. And this is really important because somebody has to be observing the behavior and that's who's going to assign the behavior they witnessed to either an internal or to an external disposition. So like I said, if I see somebody who's late to work and maybe I'll say, well, I think it's an internal disposition. I think they're lazy. I think they're bad at planning. Or someone who's nicer than me might see the exact same behavior and event, interpret it differently, but say, you know what? They're probably a fine person. It was just traffic. Thus choosing a external or situational approach. Attribution theory also addresses biases in how we interpret behaviors. The fundamental attribution error, for example, is their tendency to overemphasize internal factors and underplay external ones when evaluating others' behavior. Conversely, the self-serving bias is when we attribute our successes to internal factors and our failures to external factors. Cultural factors also influences these biases, with individuals from individualist cultures like America more prone to these errors than those from collectivist cultures like China. So let's take those big words, make them small and understandable. For the self-serving bias, that's saying, I did something. So the observer is looking at yourself, like in a mirror. So if I do something good, I would think I'm good. I'm a great person. That's why I do good things. Thinking I have a dispositional approach. Whereas if I do something bad and I see, oh, I did something bad today, but it's not my fault. I'm going to, I'm more likely to blame it on external circumstances rather than say, oh, I didn't brush my teeth this morning, but it's because I was busy, not because I'm a gross human being. However, if I am seeing somebody else do something, I see you do something bad, I'm more likely to blame it on you. I would say, okay, you did something good. Well, it's just because you got lucky. You're not actually a good person. It's a situational reason that you did something good. Conversely, if I see you do something bad, like I see you murder somebody or something less extreme, maybe speed a little bit, I'd say, well, you are bad as a person fundamentally. You have a dispositional attitude to be internally bad. You could think of it as you put yourself in the best light and you put others in the worst light. And this doesn't mean everybody does this all the time. It just means we are more likely to do this thing. The MCAT understanding attribute theory is absolutely essential. It helps in analyzing social interactions and psychological phenomena crucial for the second so sections of the exam. Grasping this theory enables a deeper understanding of human behavior, which is invaluable for your future medical career. You can expect to see anywhere from two to four questions on this on the MCAT, so you definitely want to make sure that this is making sense. And to make sure that it is for you, I wrote this practice problem. Consider the following scenario. Sarah, usually a punctual person, arrives late to an important meeting. Her colleagues immediately think that Sarah is becoming irresponsible. What cognitive bias are Sarah's colleagues most likely exhibiting? Take a few moments and try and answer this. Correct answer will be C, fundamental attribution error. Sarah's colleagues are attributing her lateness to an internal characteristic, irresponsibility overlooking possible external factors that could have caused her lateness. In conclusion, attribution theory provides valuable insights into human behavior and social interactions. As future healthcare professionals, this knowledge will enhance our ability to understand and emphasize the patients. Thank you so much for watching our video, and I will see you next time.